Brothers and sisters, I have some sentences that I've written here. I want you to look at it carefully. Now remember, Nath and Manut, they have a special relationship. Huh? Nath and Manut, they have a special relationship. If the Manut is Marfu, Nath will be Marfu. If the Manut is Majroor, Nath will be Majroor. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? If the Manut is singular, Nath will be singular. Hmm? If the Manut is plural, Nath will be plural. If the Manut is uh, feminine, Nath will be feminine. If the Manut is masculine, Nath will be masculine. Are you with me? So there are four conditions in which they will agree. One, if the Nath is definite, Manut will be definite. If the Nath is indefinite, Manut will be indefinite. So there are four conditions. One is definite, indefinite. The second is singular, singular, plural, plural. And then masculine, masculine. If it is marfu, marfu. Case endings. Eh? Okay? Always. So this should be very well understood and remembered forever now. Huh? Forever. Huh? Because our relationship with the Quran will remain, inshallah, as long as we breathe. We will always be close to Quran. Huh? So here comes the first sentence. And also I must tell you that we learn, brothers and sisters, Muptada is most of the time marfu. Huh? And khabar, if it is one word, most of the time it is indefinite. Keeping those two things in mind, you look at the sentences. Huh? Muptada, most of the time, marfu, sister Arifa. And khabar, most of the time, huh? most of the time, uh, uh, indefinite. Muptada is marfu and it is definite. Khabar is marfu if it is one word and it is most of the time indefinite. Keeping this rule in mind, you look at the sentence. Al waladu al hasanu. Is this a complete sentence? No. no. It's not a complete sentence. Because it's just, what is it, Sister Maimuna? Nath manut. Huh? Where is Nath? Al Hasanu. Where is Manut? Al Walu. How will you translate? No, then you then you made a sentence. Yeah, good boy. Handsome boy. Huh? Fine boy. Huh? See, if you say the boy is good, then you made a sentence and it is not a sentence. How will you say the boy is good? Al Waladu Hasanun. Then it is a sentence. Khabar. See, remember how the Muptada and Khabar? Fine. Next sentence, brother and sister. Uh, sister Arifa, look at the next sentence. Waladun Hasanun. How will you translate? The boy is good. The boy is good. Gee? No. The boy is good if you say. Then you are making a sentence, you are saying, Al Waladu Hasanun. See, this is not a complete sentence. This is Nath and Manut. Waladun Hasanun. Before Al Waladu Al Hasanun. The good boy. Now it is a good boy. Eh? Okay? Are you with me? A good boy. Okay? So you have to. Understand. Huh? Look at it. Okay? And then translate properly. Huh? Inshallah. Now, next, next item. Sister Aisha. Siratum mustaqimun. Is it a sentence? No. What is it? Not manu. How will you translate? A straight path. A straight path. Okay. Now, if I say to you, Hada siratum mustaqimun, 
Now it is a sentence. Haza is Mubtada. Where is the Chabad? Siratun. And what is Mustaqim? Nah. Huh? We have to understand this. Okay? Fine. Now I come to the other side. Muhammadun al Hasanu. See, now we have to see is Muhammadun definite and definite? Definite. So the Naat is definite. Al Hasanu. How will you translate, Sister uh, Nasreen? No. If you say Muhammad is good, then you'll say Muhammadun Hasanun. Yeah. So how will you say? The good Muhammad, the nice Muhammad, uh, the handsome Muhammad. Because Hassan can mean Jamilun too. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Huh? We have to think. Huh? That is why, inshallah, you will pay extra attention to page 19. And on the next page, brothers and sisters, there are English sentences. You should translate. Huh? You should translate. And most of them refer to Naat. Inshallah. Now you see Allahu al Azimu. All the time we hear. What do you hear? Sadak Allahu al Azimu. You don't say Azimu, you say Sadak Allahu al Azim. But it is Allahu al Azimu. So what is Allahu al Azimu? Nat Manut. The majestic Allah. Are you with me? Okay, fine. Ar Rasulu al Karimu. Sister Mayanas, Ar Rasulu al Karimu. Not Manu. How will you translate? Karim Rasul. Yes. The noble. The noble messenger. Are you with me? The, the kind messenger. The noble messenger. So it is not a sentence. Huh? Okay. Now if you say Muhammadun, then you will say Muhammadun, definite, Muqtada, Rasulun, Karimun. He is a kind messenger. Okay, noble messenger. Fine. Now, we have to come here, brother. Look at this. Hamidun, which is definite. Sahih. No, Rajulun, which is indefinite. So, Hamidun Rajulun. What will, how will you translate Hamidun Rajulun? Hamid, Hamid is a man. Okay. Now I say Tayyibun, which is again Hasanun. So Hamidun Rajalun Tayyibun. So how will you translate? Hamid is a good man. Hamid is a good man. So brother, what is Rajalun? It is your khabar. And then what is Tayyibun? It is your naat. Are you with me? Inshallah. Okay. Nusrat, I give you a tough uh, thing. Hamidun al alimu. Rajulun Tayyibun. Hamidun al Alimu. Rajulun Tayyibun. You said, where is Mubtada? And what is Al Alimu? It's not. It's not. Huh? And where is the Khabar? Rajulun. And Tayyibun is the Naat. Sahih? How will you translate? The scholarly are. And the. Uh, Hamid, who's a scholar, the scholar Hamid is a good man. Got the idea, Brother Hassan? Huh? See, when you see a situation like this, then you have to understand it. Okay? Now, now, as we uh, uh, talked about it yesterday, that mudaf mudafilehi are always together. Okay, nothing can come in between them. If there is a naat, it has to come after. We will find out whether the naat is for mudaf or whether the naat is for mudafili. We will find out, brother. How will you find out, brother? See, waladul muallami. Translate. Waladul muallam. Huh? Muallam is a teacher. The, the boy of the teacher. You can say boy of a teacher because I did not write Ibnu. Boy of a teacher. Okay. Now, as-salihu. 
Where does it go to? It goes from Violet. Sahi? How will you translate? The pious boy of the teacher. Got the idea? The pious. Uh, Sister Arifa, are you getting it? This is very important, brothers and sisters. Think over it. Uh, and you will feel you will get it, inshallah. Now I say, Waladul Mu'allami, uh, boy of the teacher. Now I say, Salehi. So, so Salehi is Majroor. So the Nath has to, Manut has to be Majroor. So where is the Manut, Majroor in the sentence? Mu'alim. So how will you translate? The boy of the pious teacher. Are you with me? The, uh, yes, are you? Yes, it's another question. Why the boy? If the mu'alim is definite, al-mu'alim is definite, then the mudaf is definite. Huh? Oh. You know, because mudaf cannot have al. Are you, are you with me? Yeah. Because the mudaf ilayhi is definite, mudaf is definite. Huh? I said, waladul mu'allami. So means the boy of teacher. Okay. So without giving al to walad, we made it definite. Why? Because the mudafilahi is definite. This concept we have done it, but I guess sometimes you will forget and get confused, and which is normal. So you will try to remember this. Huh? If I say, Abir, Ibn Muhammadin, Ibn Muhammadin, how will you say? Translate in English. Uh, son. Of son. But the, the son, because we are talking about a particular son. Uh, huh? We are talking about a particular son. Huh? Muhammadin is definite. So the Ibn also became definite. Are you with me? So if your mudaf ilayhi is definite, then mudaf is definite. Automatically. It will not have al, it won't have tanwi. But can we put out? No, we can't. No. Automatic. Automatic. Mudaf can never have al. And mudaf can never have tanwi. Are you with me? Okay. Remember this. Otherwise, otherwise we'll have to go back to lesson five. We don't want to go to lesson five. Now we want to pro proceed and progress, inshallah. Okay, so, Waladul Mu'allami Salehu, the pious boy of the teacher. And Waladul Mu'allami as Salehi, the boy of the pious teacher. Huh? So this Naat goes here. And this nath goes to walad. Huh? Salehu goes to walad because waladu marfu, salehu marfu. And mualam is majroor. Okay, fine. I come here next sentence. Ibn Hamidin as sadiku. How will you translate now? Whose turn is? Sister, uh, Sister Suhaina? How will you translate this? Yes. The truthful son of Hamid. So where does the Sadiq go to? Ibnu. Ibn. Sister Mamuna, is it? Yeah. You are getting it? Yeah. Inshallah, inshallah. Yeah, Dhamma. That is our sign. You know, that is our sign. Okay? Fine. Now if you don't put Dhamma, then the reader has two choices. Either he takes that Sadiq to Ibnu or he takes to Hamid. But if you are a writer and you want to make sure that the person who will read my statement should understand, then you will put Dhamma on the Sadiqu if you want to make it a Naat for Ibnu or you will put a Kasra on Sadiq if you want to refer it to Hamid. Now Ibnu Hamidin as-sadiqi. And Sister Naima? 
Ibn Hamidin As-Sadiqi. Where does Sadiqi go to? It goes to Hamid. So what will you say? Son of truthful Hamid. Son of truthful Hamid. Because now truthful is a not for Hamid. Huh? Okay. Now, I give you a tough question, Fatima. Look at it. Nazarati. How many words are there? Nazarati. Huh? Last. Last line. Two words. Tell me what are they? Nazarati. Nazarati. Two words. They are mudaf, mudafilihi. What is the translation? Uh, glasses of mine. Huh? Opticals of mine. Or my glasses. Sahi. But it is optical of mine. So there is here, you have a mudaf, mudafili. So, what is mudaf? What kind of a vowel sign will be on mudaf? Nazarati. What kind of a vowel sign will be on mudaf? Brother Hassan? Marfu. Because there is nothing in front. So it is marfu. So maybe it is mubtata. Huh? Okay. Wahuwa mudaf. And then ya mutakalam, mudaf ilahi, which is majroor. Now if there is a naat, huh? al kadima tu. So where will this al kadima tu go to? Nazaratu. Will it go to Nazaratu? Why? We, if it goes, then the question is why? Because Nazaratu is marfu. Right. It was Nazaratu plus ya mutakalim, which made into Nazarati. Huh? So we know that it is mudaf mudafilai. But in this particular case, ya mutakalim always gives a kasra to the noun. Otherwise, it would have been dhamma. Now, if you say his glasses, how will you say, brother uh, Hassan? Ah, see, you said Nazaratu. <laughs> Why did you say Nazaratu? Because that is that is what it is, marfu. But when you say my wa- my glasses, then you say Nazarati. But then you know that Nazarat is marfu. It's Nazaratu. Now, if the naat comes for that, eh? al kadimatu. So Al Kadima tu, Dhamma. Huh? How will you translate? Nazarati Al Kadima tu, my old glasses. Huh? My old glasses. Are you with me? Inshallah. My old glasses. Huh? What about it? Maksura tun, because Nazaratu is fe- uh, feminine, so the khabar has to be feminine. Huh? Nazarati al kadimatu maksura tun. I cannot say maksurun. That would be wrong. Maksura tun. Fine. Now look at the sentence, brother of the summit. Ibnuhu al awwalu. First, one second, one second. Sister Mamuna. Where, where? No, it is khabar then. Huh? This is Nazaratu Muftada Wahuwa Mudaf Ya Mutakalam Mudaf Ilahi And then Naat So the translation is My old watch What about it? Give me some news It is broken Got the idea? You got to think like that right? Inshallah This will all come with practice This will all come If you keep on writing if you won't write, brother, I'm afraid everything will fly over you. Huh? Write, write, write. Inshallah. Huh? Yes, sister. Which one? Maksuratun is khabar. Maksuratun is khabar. Inshallah. Fine. Ibnuhu, brother Abdul Samad, what, how many words are there? Two. Two. See here, brother Hassan, Ibnu came because the mudafilah is who? Are you with me? But change that who into ya, ibni, but then still 
Ibn is still Marfu Ibn. Got the idea? Okay. So, Brother uh, Abdul Samad, Ibn Hu uh, Al Al Awalu, the first. Al Awalu Muhammad. Now you tell me what is Al Awalu? Mashallah, mashallah. It is a nath for Ibn. Now, how will you translate only this much? The boy's it, son? No. The boy? Uh, no. His, uh, his first son. Uh, what will you say? His, his first son. Uh, okay, what is the news? Is a is it, you got the idea? Inshallah. This requires thinking, brother. In the beginning, once you understand it, it will always be easy for you. Okay? What is the next sentence in your... Uh, I skipped uh, three sentences. Ah, Baituna al-jadidu. See? Very simple. Baituna al-jadidu. Brother Saeed, Baituna. What is Baituna? Two words. Mudaf. Huh? Now I have to say, I cannot bring anything in between. Huh? If, it is, if the house is old or new, it has to come after. Huh? So the, the, the nath has come after. Al-jadi du. Why du? Because by tu. Huh? So how will you translate? Our, Our new house. Khalas. Our new house. Got the idea? Very good. MashaAllah. Muhammad, yes. what is the next uh, uh, sentence? Aina uh -huh. kitabukal kabiru. Aina kitabukal kabiru. kabiru. See, what is kitabuka? Mudaf, mudaf. No, it cannot. We cannot bring nath in between. Huh? Okay. So the nath has come al kabira to. Uh, where does it go to? Al Kitab. Huh? So, how will you translate? Aina is where? Where is your big book? Got the idea? Where is your big book? So, this page 19 is extremely important for you to work at home. Huh? Look at it, think over it, ponder over it, and, and find to try to find answers, inshallah. Okay, brother? And if you do not understand, ask in the class. Ask me again in the break. I will explain you, inshallah. Uh, what is the next sentence, Sister Salma? Aina kalamu kalamu maksur. Yeah, what is it? Aina kala? Kalamu maksur. Kalamu maksur. Aina kalamu maksur. So, how will you say? Al kalamu al maksur. Al kalamu maksur. Yes. So here, this is very simple. Yes, so how will you translate? His broken. No, no, then is it Kalamu Hu? Yeah, okay, so, okay. If you say Aina Kalamul Maksuru, it means where is the broken pain? So here it is Kalamu Hu Al Maksuru. So Al Maksuru goes to the Kalamu. Only when it is Ya Mutakalim, then we see Kasra, otherwise, we'll see a proper vowel sign on the Mudaf. Aina kalamahu al maksuru. So, how will you translate this, Sister Salma? Where is his broken pen? MashaAllah. Excellent. Where is his broken pen? Huh? Got the idea? On the next page, you have English sentences. Now, brother and sister, during the weekend, uh, you will try to write, write the answer. And I will ask you on Monday. Huh? How did you write it? Are you with me? Huh? It will give you practice. See, this exercise is not in the book. But we had many students coming with uh, difficulties, understanding the concept. So we have made this small exercise for you in the handout, for you to do it and get stronger, inshallah. What is the next sentence? Okay, what is the sentence, Sister Afza? Kalami 
Al Jadidu. So, brother Hassan, again Kalami. What is this? Mudaf, Mudafili. So, what is our Mudaf? Is Marfu. It's Kalamu. Because, so now if I have to give a Naat for uh, Kalam, I have to make it Marfu. Sahi. So, I will say Kalami Al Jadidu. Uh, it is clear, brother? Why? Once it is clear to you, Alhamdulillah, Inshallah, you will understand it beautifully. Kalami al Jadidu. Translate. My new pen. So, where is our Mubtada? Kalamu. Are you with me? Huh? Mubtada is Wahua Mudaf. And Ya Mutakalam Mudaf Ilehi. And Al Jadidu. Not. Now let us come to the khabar. What is the khabar? Fi hakibati ka al sagirati. So fi harchar hakibati is a majru wa huwa mudaf ka mudaf lehi and as sagirati is a naat for hakibati. Hakibati. Huh? That is why it is sagirati. Are you with me, brother and sister? Now you tell me, how will you translate? My new pen is in your small bag. Got the idea? So translate them and write it properly. What is the next sentence, sister Abir? Ah, ah, mashallah, mashallah. Sayara Tukha. What is that? The new car is beautiful. Mashallah. Yeah, your new car is beautiful. Now, Sister Abhi, the point is you analyze it. Okay? Sayara Tukha. Sayara Tukha will be the Muftada and Yes. Tukha is the Mudafilehi. Jadida Tukha is the Naat. Is a Naat. No. Khabar. See, that is why I say the khabar is indefinite most of the time and it is uh, indefinite and it is marfu. All these things you must remember. Muptada, hmm? most of the time, is definite. Are you with me? Muptada, most of the time, is definite. And khabar, if it is one word, most of the time it is indefinite. Keeping that in mind, Sister Abir, you say, Sayyara Tuka, Al Jadida Tu. Why Jadida Tu and not Jadidu? Sayyara Tu is modernness. Huh? And then the other khabar, why not Jamilun and Jamilatun? Because the, the khabar has to match the muftada. Huh? So say, you, you did it very well, mashallah. So you just have to understand how far the uh, you know, nath goes. Okay? Sayyara tu ka al jadida tu. This is where our muqtada is all. Huh? Your, your new car. Okay, what is the news? Is beautiful. Huh? Got the idea? Inshallah you will remember this, brothers and sisters. We are deliberately, you know, doing this one by one so that you get a good idea. Ah, this is a very nice nasha. Sister Arifa, you do that. Fasluna. Huh? Fasluna. Okay, sister. Uh, you try, huh? What is the sentence? Read it, Sister Arifa, loudly. Ha. Fasluna. See? Fasluna. What is this? Mudaf, mudaf. Okay, now Faslu will become our Mubtada. Fine. Now, if there is a Nath for Mubtada, where will it be? Al Jadidu. How will you translate? Ah, our new class. That's it. Now give the news. So what is Amama? Zarf. So immediately you will say Shibu Jumla Khabar. 
because there is no other khabar. Huh? And then what is maktabati? Mudafilehi. Say, zarf will be followed by mudafilehi. Are you with me? Zarf will be followed by mudafilehi. So inshallah, you will remember this. Huh? So it's, now how will you translate? In the front of the library. Library. Huh? Our new class is in front of the library. Brothers and sisters, remember, if a pronoun joins a noun, the result is mudaf mudafil. If the pronoun joins a position, the result is jarun wa majrun. And if the pronoun joins a zarf, the result is zarf and mudafil. Huh? You forgot my little song? When the pronoun joins a noun, you get mudaf, mudafilehi. When the pronoun joins preposition, we get jarun wa majrurun. When the pronoun joins a zarf, what do we get? We get zarf. And mudafilehi. Remember this. And if you can memorize this tune, sing it then to yourself. Okay? It will just make you understand the concept better.